You remember this place, honey? Yeah. You do? Thanks for coming by. I appreciate yeah. it. People ask me, what is your proudest moment? I'd say Rocky Balboa, Rocky VI, because no one wanted to make it. So it was a really big, big challenge. And that restaurant seemed to be like the epicenter of what the heart and soul of that film was. So I wanted to go back there with the heart and soul of my life, my family, and just experience that once again. This place is so cool. I feel like I'm traveling back in time. You yeah. are. But we're missing one. I feel yeah. so sad that Scarlett's not here, because I don't think she's ever been here before. I know. I don't know what her problem is. This is a big moment for us. It's a huge moment. Yeah. I just wish we were all together. Same. I think we should disown her. <laughs> no. Once and for all. You got to see upstairs. You got to see it to believe it. I do want to see it. And yeah. I remember saying in Crete, that's where I should live. Go, oh, no, I'm telling you, that's where a widower, who all he has is this, mm -hmm. who cannot forget his wife, would live here. Yeah, that's he true. He has nothing. Yeah. That's actually a good point. Yeah. So I thought he'd be coming downstairs, upstairs. I know, it's great. Your bedroom up there, it'd yeah. It would be amazing. It's really cool. It would've been cool. What is it? Oh, my God, look at his hair! Oh Okay, good. Hello, baby girl. Can I join? Yeah, it's Scarlett. How are you? This is the greatest surprise ever. I'm so happy you did it. The cat in the hat just popped Is this out. seat taken? Yes, yes, yes. Glad you're here. My baby, she shows up. I'm so happy to see her. She made the right decision, so I'm glad she changed her mind and she came. Well, I am so excited yeah. you're here, baby. Now we're whole again. Yeah. I think it's time for you to quit school and hang out with us. I know. No, just kidding. I know you, you love guys, college. I love, I love school. You do? Yeah. I've learned so much, and I've grown so much from it. It's really hard to balance college and family. And now that I left home, I wish that they could see I have to prioritize college as well. Right here, probably the most important thing I ever wrote was in Rocky Balboa. It's about, it's not how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving. That's how winning is done. And I wrote this because it's something I always wanted to say to my children. I did. Little did I know that I would have my daughters here someday. And isn't it ironic? And, this every... is the one line we remembered out of all the things, is that line? Yeah. You know that speech by heart? The world ain't you all do? sunshine yeah. and rainbows. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It'll beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. That's how winning is done. That's how winning is done. You made my life, girls. <laughs> oh, you made ours. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that many people. It's just seeing all of his fans still have so much admiration and love for him. Wow, look at these steps, like. Oh. I don't know if I run up these, Jennifer. I know. I first saw the steps when I was 11 years old, and I'd never seen anything like that. So I, when I had a chance to do the Rocky film, I thought, where can I exemplify a transitional moment where a man fails and then he succeeds. And I feel that way today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you, it's amazing to be back here, guys. Seriously. I expected a few people, but that's amazing. When I walk up the steps, I feel like I can do anything. I don't know why, but it's magical to me. It proves that dreams can come true. Mm -hmm. But now my next dream is that it's your turn to look out there. There's just something so optimistic and life-affirming about this view. It's as though you can see your life up ahead mm -hmm. of you. And you're going to go out there and conquer. It's your turn. So, you push it. No, 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 seriously. It's wonderful to be here as a family. This is such a breathtaking moment, being on the steps together as a family. It's honestly life-changing, and I'm so happy I got to be here to experience this.
Family does come before friends or anything. Scarlett, Sophia's 16, my daughter is. I've had my time, and I'm incredibly grateful for it. Now it's your time. It's your time to look out there, see your vision, go after your dream, and don't be deterred, because we love you and we'll support you to our dying breath. Wow, look at that slide. My feet grew. <laughs> Everyone ready? Okay. Here goes nothing. Uh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> this show is called Unwaxed. It's not called Unfiltered. Okay, you guys. Known for his extensive music career, he has three platinum albums, 10 gold albums, and has even acted in over 60 films. Our Uncle, Uncle Frank! Frank. Uh, thank Stay you, my little. Thank you. Frank Stallone, people. My little sweeties, thank you. Oh. Yeah. I think we should just jump right into your music career. That okay. is what you're known for. Yeah. You're a guitarist, a songwriter. I started singing really kind of around the house when I was five years old. My aunt, uh, Nancy, she spoke like it is. She took a heat. They, no, they're all- This whole all, podcast all, is gonna be accents. Yeah, they're all it. off the boat. So they go, I hear it tonight, this Elvis uh, guy gonna be on the TV. This is exactly what I wanna be. I mean, the floppy Elvis hair. Was that... oh, your so Elvis icon. was Elvis Oh, absolutely. This will probably tell you why I'm not married. My mother was married five times. My father's married four times. Right. Boing. Boing. <laughs> yeah, a really good blueprint out there for like, you know, for marriage. Good so, examples. Yeah, yes. really good examples. My mother had taken off. She left. She had married this other guy. When my mother came back, she did a nice Christmas for us, probably the only good one we had. She bought two ukuleles for my brother and I, thinking we we're gonna be like the Everly Brothers. Within two hours, he smashed it over my head. Terrible. What is wrong? He's so he was, jealous. He was the original Dennis the Menace. Yeah. He was getting in fights every day. So then he kind of got into superheroes. He jumped off the, the roof of the house, oh, broke his this. collarbone. Yeah. My father was like, they're not, and my father was pretty mean. Sly, can't understand to this day. I said, Sly, you snuck out of the house at 13 and stole his Cadillac and got into an accident. Okay, oh, so I you needed... know what? That's why I like talking to you. That's because true. Because Sly never tells the truth about a story. No, and never. we get the honest truth from you. That is true. I would have to say one of my favorite stories was something to do with a black sea urchin. He stuck it in my ha face and hair. Basically, I hate I hate skin diving. So we were, they go, hey, we're gonna take skin diving lessons. I go, not really. And my hair was like down to here. And we're under there, all of a sudden he pulls my mask off. And I go into total panic mode. I come up, I go, what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Such so an then ass. he finds a sea urchin and he sticks it like right kind of in my hair and face. And it just latches. latches. You can't get it out. Latches to his hair. So now I come out of the water, I look like a total moron with the sea urchin like stuck in my hair. And he thinks it's funny. Yeah. But I was really afraid. I don't like being underwater like Oh, that's like me. In my documentary, we talked about my panic attack era. I want to ask how you were able to cope with it in your generation, because today it's a different time. We have way more resources, Well, tools, there was no help. resources, no. So how did you go through well, that? Well, you have weird thoughts. You have gory thoughts. You have fear of thoughts. What saved me was music because wow. I, I, when I'd be on stage, I'd be fine. And I really wanted to ask Oh, that how... makes sense where I got it from. I actually should take some advice from you. No. I had no idea he suffered panic attacks. I mean, that's something that I've gone through since childhood. Honestly, it makes me sad. I wish I had talked to him about it more, but I'm really, really glad that we're having this conversation now. It makes me feel a lot more bonded with him. Is this your house? Bob? No, that one on the right. Oh. No, this one. Right there. I lived here about seven and a half, eight years. That was when I started to act. That's when I started to write a little bit. When I was in that house, I was kind of a scrawny kid. I could spend a lot of time alone, and I would literally put on musical scores, and I would move around that room, play every part. Literally, I'd spend hours and hours just doing these odd routines. So I realized I was not fit for the normal world. I was always gonna be somewhere in the world where you had to create your own little universe. Well, well, well. This is so Hi. Cool. Can we go inside? Sure. Oh my God. This is the first door I literally was thrown through. I'll tell you that story. My childhood was kind of complicated. Everyone was trying to make their own way, so it wasn't, um, 
your all-American family role model situation where everyone sort of looked out for one another. Everyone was kind of like on their own. This is it. Is that your bedroom? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. My brother lived in that store. He was in this other room? Why, routinely tortured. It looks really great. Much more cheerful. This is great. Do you, do you remember it being this nice? No, mine was not this nice. Reading my dad's expressions, I think it's a mix of so many different emotions. I have to admit, my dad has fought a lot growing <laughs> up. He was always rocky. Down here is where you came to settle neighborhood disputes. You move the furniture back and you... Coming into his childhood home has made me realize I've been completely selfish and I should be here with my family. Rocky started right here. We may donate this to my grandson's school. You should donate that to eBay, pal. I'm here to shoot with my dad for Tulsa King. It makes me so nervous. Oh, my baby. God. OK, go for it. Where are you going? I'm going to be shooting my scene in a couple of days. In the show, I play a barista, and I end up taking care of the main character's horse. The only thing I would suggest is one of the business. Yeah, what kind of business? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your business. OK, OK. See That's when you realize you got a pro. I know what you mean. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I'm just picking it up. Ready, and action! My dad created his own success. The man came out of nowhere, wrote his own story, and built his empire from ground zero, nothing. And it truly inspires me to work harder. You better stop calling me that, pal. Hey, look, ain't nobody gonna tell me with the same arm cap. You got that. You gotta keep escalating. But do you need to clock something in order to motivate to yeah. stop the car? It's like it's nuances. It's a lot of pressure because I'm doing this with my dad, and I know that he believes in me, and I just really want to make him proud. All right, we're going again, guys. Go to one. When I was younger, I fell in love with acting because I loved performing. It didn't matter what club, it didn't matter what play. I would take different classes, improv, whatnot, whether if it's a really good acting class or a really weird one. It's like I said, just embrace the moment and express yourself and not be worried about what other people think. Yeah. That's it. How you doing? I'm looking to buy a horse. I'm sorry, senor. Knacker is on his way. That's the owner. A knacker is a person that gets rid of dead animals. I love it. It works. <laughs> Pretty damn good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right to the table. And uh, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Action. We haven't met. My name is Dwight. Spencer. Hey, Spencer. Nice to meet you officially. But I'm actually leaving. Today's my last day. Oh. You have another job? Not yet. Still looking. <laughs> you nailed it. That was so good. That is a wrap. I'm so sad that it's all over. I was looking forward to this moment for so long. Now that I'm walking off set, like, it, 
it's sad. Like, I wanted just to go back, and I enjoyed every moment of it. I think children of celebrities feel as though that they need their parents' name to perhaps become successful, but that's not the truth. The truth is you have to have talent because the audience will not accept anything but that. So you either have it or you don't. And I believe Scarlett has it. What did you think? Good. I so, love my caution. Sometimes you're too hard on yourself. Like me. <laughs>I would like a chicken sandwich with a live chicken. Is that oh. possible? Are you sweetie? What's your name? Oh my god, those guys are cute. Um, can I get the chicken oh, melt? They are so cute. They're really cute. With extra pickles on the side. Where they left. And a tall glass of ham. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> can I just change the subject a little bit? Sistine, aren't you don't you have a meeting when you get back? With MGM? Wait, that's exciting. I didn't know you had a meeting with MGM. MGM picked I didn't up know that. Film. Jennifer always has to be the town crier. She can't keep her mouth shut, man. Sophia's gonna kill me. Are you choosing your like director and stuff? I'll meeting? just have the toothpick. Right, yeah. You have a director? Who? A woman. Wait, why haven't you told me any of this? Sistine, we live together. I'm actually pissed. Like, why haven't you told me any of this? I'm a little uncomfortable because Sistine told me about her script a week ago, and Sophia didn't know apparently. I mean, Sistine should have told her, but she told me, so I'm okay with that. I tell you everything. Like, what was your reasoning for hiding that from me? There's no malicious intent behind me not sharing that. Like, you, you're getting very heated at me for yeah. no big reason. Okay, imagine. You also don't tell me everything See, either, I Sophia. Don't have a lot yeah, of but if you don't get a job, like the speaker thing, you didn't tell me until yeah, that's mom true. told me. Yes, so like, give me a break.
How'd I get on the Housewives of Beverly Hills? How did this happen? I just transferred. I'm now in the, uh, what is they called, the year-end show? <gasps> We're just unloading on everybody. Reunion. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He made me laugh. What the hell? Why are you being bitchy with me? All I do is laugh. I did not say anything wrong to you. It sucked finding out this way that MGM was interested in her script rather than her telling me the moment it happened. And look, I, I can be nosy and I want to know everything that's going on in everybody's life, but this is a really big part of my best friend's life that I wasn't a part of until later. It doesn't feel really good. Sitting out in Oklahoma, I couldn't wait to get home and I just want to relax. Now I come back to a war zone here with these girls. I just don't understand why you're so heated about me not sharing one thing I'm surprised. when we share everything in our lives together. Well, apparently not. I mean, you're making my moment about you right now, which is absurd. We celebrate everything together, and what I'm upset about is that I wasn't able to relish in that moment with you. And everyone kind of knows. I'm sitting there going, OK, I'm not sure what's That's going on. That's a valid point. Because you do share everything. But it wasn't everything. intentional. I know. What, what is you, this, Judge Judy? No, but it's, it's, it's. I don't think it was intentional. It's not. It, listen, all I was doing was trying to protect your feelings, because I know sisters in the same business Jealousy can happen, and that's all I wanted to avoid. You both have a valid reason. I think that it came as a surprise, but it's pretty nice that she has something going. I'm extremely You have proud something of her. going, too. I do seriously regret not telling Sophia from the start because I ended up hurting her in the long run, so I should have just been honest from the beginning. I think both of you have a valid point, but you're kind of like circling, you're not landing this plane. So I think the thumb wrestling. Would you be interested in, in a thumb wrestling bringing your thumb? Sophia, so please, stupid. I'm begging you, bring You're your so thumb dumb. here. I need your thumb. So, you know here we go. What, actually, call me Give me your red fake nail. I got this. Let's go. Woo! Ready. See this strong. Those are fighting words. Those are fighting words we're trying Come to make on. up right now. One. Uh, just do it, Sophia. Two. Three. Go, go, go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Sophia wins. That means oh. we're calling it a truce. Even though it hurts, I love her and I'm proud of her. And I, now I want to like celebrate this success with her. She better not do it again.